I love getting free stuff, especially when it's a craftsman. Oh yeah. So I uh, picked up my free shit today and take a look what I got. Three bin bagger. I have the other piece sitting out front still. Um, that's the dump cart. I thought it was a little bit bigger, but I guess not. I guess it's probably one of them eight or ten. It's definitely not a twelve. Maybe it'll say it. Uh, no. Not there. But uh, the bagger is like friggin' almost like new. Like, holy shit. A little bit of a grass update. Tire Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Tire Mountain. Oh, yeah. Let's go take a look at the tractor. Oh, yeah. I mowed with that thing last night. Eh, did all right. Oh, yeah. There's the tractor. Not bad for a freebie. Very nice. Very old 15 horse in there. Nice. So, uh, yeah, got the entire whole setup there the bagger, the dump cart, this tractor, all for free. Because the guy, pretty much, he, he said to me about nine times, I just, I don't want to fix it. I just want a new tractor. I, I want a new tractor. My wife says I can't get a new tractor until you get rid of this one. I just want a new tractor. So, it's like, holy shit, buddy, you really want a new tractor. Um, so yeah, I don't know why he gave me the dump cart and the three bin bagger, but I guess he wants a new tractor. So I guess he had to get rid of a lot of his shit. Let me soften this thing down for us here. Um, but yeah, overall, it's pretty good shape. Um, I was reading the number on the motor, and it says a 2000 and... I forget even what the number was. 2003, but on the back fender, it says 2004, or no, sorry, 2005, 00, 2005, so I found that pretty interesting, um, so I don't know, maybe it's, it's a 2005 tractor, or it was sold in 2006, I'm not really sure what the deal is, I thought when I first saw it, I thought it was like really older, compared, because, well, I thought it was really older because of the fact of the the steering column, well not the steering column, well kind of sort of the steering column, but the whole six speed not on the fender. And then I was doing a little bit more looking looking and uh, got the cable set up in the rod. So I guess everything is correct. Nothing has been swapped out. Uh, I guess it's all original so that's not too too bad. But uh, yeah, I'd say this tractor new probably went for about a thousand bucks uh, before taxes. I mean, it's not the greatest tractor in the world. It's actually got really small tires, which I just kind of sort of miss. What size are these? These are really small. 18s, yeah. Huh, look a little bit smaller than 18s. Shit, the front tires look almost like the same. <laughs> That's funny. You know, it's just got the regular 42 inch deck. Uh, pretty much, the, like I said, the only thing really wrong with it. Is it's got a dead battery, but the battery is new. I guess he left the uh, key on, as you can actually see right there. And uh, he just left it on that, and it drained the battery. It has a brand new battery in it. He put it in just this summer, and the best part about it, 240 cranking amps. Come on, focus, you son of a bitch, you. 240 cranking amps, and there's a diehard, too. Diehard Gold Series, that's pretty sweet. But, uh, yeah, the only thing really wrong with it, other than the battery is the mower deck spindle. As you can see, she's flopping around there like a flounder. Mower deck spindle snapped off, which, you know, pretty common. People always break them, so. Luckily, I have a few of those, but, um, you know, overall, it's not a bad little tractor. Should clean up nice. I think we're just gonna solve for 300 bucks. You know, it's pretty much what I'd get for it in parts alone, so, you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna try maybe Actually, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see what I have to put into it for parts. I noticed I need to get a new uh, air cleaner cover. Luckily, I have lots of those. So that's no problem. I can go right over in that corner. Trash. Uh, what else? I actually got like a half a tank of fuel in it, which is pretty sweet. And it's also got a, he also gave me a brand new air filter, too. Like, that's never really even been used. So, spark plug's going to need to be changed. How's the oil, I wonder? Didn't even look at that. Eh, it's definitely going to need to be changed. It's on the low mark, too. 
But, uh, I mean, I'm not really going to complain for free. That's for damn sure. Not for sure at all. But, uh, yeah. What a score. I haven't, I haven't gotten a tractor for free in quite some time now. Or a complete tractor that needed only a small bit of work. I had that one Murray in the winter I got for free. But that was kind of sort of like a package deal, I guess we'll say. Um, I think the last free tractor I've gotten, really... Other than that Murray, it's probably my old uh, Crossman LT, uh, LT11 there, or my, I don't know, not the LT11, the, what the freak, oh yeah, the LTV10 Verta Drive, that's what it was. I had one of those, I think that was the last tractor I got for free, and that was, shit, I want to say two and a half years ago. I know it was before I was making YouTube videos, I can tell you that. I uh, actually just scrapped the hood to that thing a couple of months back. <laughs> I just got tired of looking at it. But, um, yeah, not bad as a little haul. This is probably the second best, nicest tractor we've gotten in the shop for free. See, so the first one was my uh, my old LT1000 that I sold a few, about a year ago. But, uh, yeah, before you ask yourself behind me, what's up with all this lumber? Oh, yeah, we're going to be doing a little bit of building. I'm going to finally build this uh, shelf I was talking about. I'm going to build her up tonight, I think. Um, pretty much a 2x4 is going to go from here to there. Here the corner that is. And this is all going to be shelving up top there. And I'm going to put the mini mower right up top here. That's my goal. So pretty cool. And, uh, you know, should definitely give me some more storage, you know. But I also had a pretty big uh, buyer come by today. Came down from, uh, I want to say Seabrook, New Hampshire, but I don't think that's right. Uh, took him about an hour and a half of a ride. And uh, yeah, he came by and he bought a lot of shit off me. A whole lot of shit. I ended up doing a package deal with him because he bought so much shit. Uh, he bought two Craftsman 42-inch mower decks. Those are gone. Uh, the 14-horsepower Briggs is gone. Uh, he was almost tempted to buy the coal over there, but he just uh, didn't know what he would put it in. Um, he bought a whole mess of shit, and it, it literally, yeah, I got rid of a lot of stuff. I really don't even have much shit left, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I do believe tomorrow I have, I think, two tractors coming in, maybe two. Possibly, I know one's coming in. Um, they're both John Deere's. Well, kind of, sort of. One's a Scots, one's a John Deere, and... Uh, those will be coming in, so yeah. But actually, I got a guy coming in a little bit to pick up a motor off me. That Kohler Magnum there. He's coming for a North Reading. Come on. Stuck between the tires. Yeah, we're stuck. Nope, there it goes. Come on. Slowly creeping. Just a creeping, creeping. How's this song go? Yeah, that'll work. Ugh, I'll have to pull it out with two hands. Also, uh, it's now like three, three, almost three thirty right now, and uh, holy spider web. Like, wow, that was a long way down. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like three thirty right now. I've been running around all morning, kind of, sort of. I had that guy here for about an hour buying some parts, then I had to go pick up this tractor, so that killed about an hour and a half, I want to say. Then I went, what the freak? I just pulled you down, what the hell? Okay, let's try that again. Um, then I also had to go look at a job estimate, do a job estimate. I got a good little winter project coming about. Uh, it's going to be a basement job. Uh, just going to kind of sort of put together a price. We're going to be doing a ceiling, uh, moving a washer and dryer unit onto the other side, a little bit of plumbing involved. Um, and then over time, she's going to be putting in a bathroom and literally going to make it a full living space in her basement. But for right now, we're just doing the ceiling. And then as time goes on, when she gets more money, we'll be doing that. But that'll be a winter project, you know. So anyway, I'm going to start doing a little bit of work on this tractor and uh, we'll get back to you in a little bit here. Oh yeah. Let's play a little bit of music. What do we got here? Luke Bryan, Drunk on You. Good song. Girl, get the party started. Girl, you make my spirit. 
All right, well, we pretty much uh, got to turn this off due to copyright reasons. Uh, but anyway, so I just got done kind of sort of doing the mechanic work on this thing. Uh, pretty much it didn't need much. Um, it pretty much fired up on the turn of the key. Uh, you know, I pretty much just swapped through the battery. And until replaced that shitty, well, it's not kind of shitty fuel line. It's just kind of sort of a weird fuel line that was all kinkled and mingled and, yeah. Junk. Did that. Got the uh, airbox cover all straightened out here. Like I said, I had one of those pieces kicking around. Um, don't need to do the fuel filter on it. Guy says it's brand new. Same with the air filter. Brand new air filter on it. And uh, I think it's ready to rock. I uh, did an oil change on it. Uh, have yet to test drive it, but I did notice there's a nice shiny new belt on the bottom of it. Must have been just replaced. I don't know, I'd say a couple months ago. It's not new, but it's not old either. Um, so yeah, let's crank this thing up. I'm going to take it for a test drive too, because I haven't test drove it yet. Buddy came by, picked up that Kohler Magnum. That's pretty sweet. Figured my door just fell apart. Son of a bitch. See the cable? Come right along there. Just fell apart. Ah, oh, fucking. I hate this door. Went together easy, but I just can't freaking predict that thing. I feel one of them days those springs are just going to come across and just jab me right in the eye. Oh yeah, I took the mower deck off. As you can see, that is the broken spindle. Might have to replace the, uh, the front axle in this thing. Because if you look at the two uh, sons of bitches here, they're pretty well uh, going a little bit tilt the world there. So I'll probably fix those up, no problem. Well, we can bang them. Uh, but do these things like, I swear to God, I think these things are made out of spring steel. Uh, it just doesn't do anything. Let's see. Sometimes with the twisted you won't be able to do it, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, this one actually might work. Yeah, I think we're going to get the bigger hammer over there. We'll wail on it a little bit, actually. Eh, you guys can see. Good enough. All this feels get a bigger hammer. You might want to turn your volume down this part. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now for this one. Let's turn the oil. A lot of times if these things are twisted, you'll never be able to bend them. That'll work. All right, just saved myself an axle. That's pretty sweet. Didn't think those things were gonna bend properly, but it did. All right, let's fire this thing up. See how well it actually runs. We only had to run it for a quick, not even ten seconds. Let's see.
know one thing I forgot to do? It involves this. Apes. Son of a bitch. I got pretty good on that carp, I tell ya. That thing was hauling for a little while, actually. Can't believe I got that much out of just what was left in the carburetor. Oh yeah, bone dry. Drained it, because when I did the uh, fuel lines there, I drained the gas. Oops. Other than that, the thing friggin' ran men tits. Let's see. Notice one thing, though. Like a boss. Notice one thing I got to uh, lubricate is the uh, shifter linkage down at the bottom there. It's just a wee bit stiff, I tell you that much. Kind of, sort of, you know. I bet you it's got something to do with the linkage. Usually the common problem. Oh yeah, it's a little, a little rusty there. And uh, the brakes, well, they're not even existent, I can tell you that much. So I'm going to pop the wheel off. I'm going to lubricate the uh, son of a bitch there. And this thing should be pretty much good to rock. Or, well, tractor-wise, we still got the deck to work on. Oh yeah, I love free shit. That motor runs mint tits, I tell you that. Alright, well I think that was the most simplest brake job I've ever done. Usually on these tractors that have been left out forever and ever and ever, uh, like this one has been. Rim's usually seized on the axle. Rim was not seized on the axle, very surprisingly. Holy shit, I was very surprised. Then, I thought for sure one of these bolts would have broken. You know, usually when these tractors sit out forever and ever, you know, rust and shit and corrodes out the uh, aluminum. And the uh, caliper bolts never seem to want to come out. Came out no problem. It was scary that it went that fast. Uh, caliper, one of the caliper uh, pistons was seized. I got unseized a little bit of uh, liquid wrench there. And uh, she's working pretty good now. I'm going to pop the tire on and uh, take her for a quick little test drive again. So adjust the brakes if needed. And uh, even got the shifter working a lot better. Shifts so much smoother now. Just because of that one little shifter doohickey underneath there was a little bit seized up. But uh, yeah. Tell you what, the one thing I like about this craftsman is the way how they curved the fender. Like this is a little bit nicer than the regular craftsman's. I mean from here it looks like blah blah blah, but if you look, that's a little different. I like that style. I also like how the footrest is curved in this way. It's it's a little different touch, you know. Little things in life. But uh, I'm gonna slap this rim back on there and uh throw pre yeah, probably throw a little bit of never seize on it for the next person. And uh take it from there. Oh yeah. Free! Free tractor! Fuck yeah! Yeah! Alright, well, uh, the brakes are all finished up. Take it for a quick little test swab. Um, can't believe how well the shifter works now. Just slides right over. Much better. Um, but now that's done, I also did the blades and the spindle. Sharpened up the blades, as you can see. Well, I can't really see because I painted them, but they were sharp. And uh, this is the one mandrel that I replaced there. Uh, so that's pretty much all done. Got everything on the top all buttoned up. This deck's now ready to be put on the uh, tractor. Actually, i got to put the belt back on, but that's not major. It just loops around there. Da -da -da, and, you know, the usual shit. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. And uh, I'd say tomorrow we'll give it a quick little power washing and she's a done deal. I'll give her a really good uh, power washing and really test her out pretty good, you know. I bet you someone will pick it up pretty quick. I think I'm just going to list it for 350 bucks. Pretty fair deal, you know. It's in pretty good shape. I'm sure someone would be willing to pay that price. Um, you know, pretty damn good re reliable tractor shit, you know. But, uh, yeah. Not gonna put the uh, three bin bag on it. That's gonna get sold separate, you know. I'll get more money doing it that way than I would trying to sell it with a tractor. Uh, the dump cart, I'm probably gonna keep that, so. Yeah. But I think we're having the video here. Uh, tonight, I'm actually gonna start working on the uh, wonderful 2x4 shelf project that's gonna be up there. 
by the time I make tomorrow's video. So that'll be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, you'll see it pretty much tomorrow. So uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, until tomorrow, don't break your mower deck, Mandrill. Oh, uh, yeah. Got a few of those this year.